hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning so in this tutorial we are going to see some of the visualization technique for the higher dimension visualization mostly for the more than three dimension data set visualization so first of all why such a techniques is required we have seen in earlier lot of example of uh, different machine learning algorithms also we have taken some very small data set into two dimension or sometimes in a three dimension and then we apply some machine learning algorithm on the top of it that is just for the learning purpose but in reality uh, the whatever the actual data set is available that will be in a much more higher dimension it will be generally in a more than 10 or more than 100 even sometimes the million dimensions are uh, possible for individual uh, record so for human going more than two or three dimension above then it will be very difficult to visualize uh, any data set that's why such a techniques are required so in this tutorial we are going to see about one very famous technique of parallel coordinates technique so implementation of this parallel coordinates technique is already available inside the scikit-learn uh, library so net let's see uh, how this parallel coordinate technique is working so for the parallel coordinates technique we are treating each line as a uh, individual features of the individual all the records and each and every line with respect to the da data record we are just connecting with each other so once we visualize you will come to know about better way so for that purpose i have already uh, made some necessary imports so we are going to use this pandas tools plotting functionality and i have imported this parallel coordinates uh, module out of it uh, we are going to apply this thing onto iris data set so i have imported this uh, iris data set and we are going to use simple pandas so import pandas as a pd and matplotlib in line so we can visualize the whole thing here so this is all about the necessary imports so let me just run it okay so i have successfully run this thing uh, after that i have written some small code for uh, loading uh, iris data set I have already loaded this iris data set number of times in a earlier lecture also so you can uh, go through this lecture so I have done nothing I have just uh, loaded this iris data set into data frame object of the python so first four row uh, will be somewhat like a individual features of a record like a sepal length, sepal width and petal length and petal width once we visualize it you will come to know about better way and uh, very last com column i have mapped it to individual uh, classes of uh, features something like uh, we have all the value for the target is 0 1 and 2 i have just mapped it to the individual name like a setosa versicular or virginica okay so let me just run it for loading purpose and let's just uh, visualize the this data frame so you'll we'll come to know about it how it is working okay so we have first 50 records is uh, lying inside the uh, this setosa class of family this flower and uh, first four column is a sepal length sepal width petal length and a petal width another 50 records in a second category like a versicolor and a third 50 records in a uh, virginica class of family so now uh, we have already the data set now let's just uh, apply this data set onto the parallel coordinate system and let's try to uh, visualize it so uh, we have already made some necessary inputs so i'm just directly going to use this parallel coordinate functionality and let's just apply for just first 50 records for the visualization you can apply all those record at the once also but as we already know in this case that first 50 records lie into one class of family another 50 records the next immediate 50 record lies into uh, second class of family which is nothing but the versicolor and a third uh, 50 records the immediate next to the second 50 records uh, which lies into third class of family which is nothing but the uh, virginica class of family uh, so let's just uh, apply the very first 50 records so it will indicate the 0 to 50 and we need to supply which column will indicate your actually classes so our class na name is 
target name the column name is target name I have given so I'll just supply here the target name okay so it has visualized uh, created a display for the setosa class of family now if you see this parallel coordinate uh, system there are total four parallel lines which indicates that there are total four individual feature we are going to visualize the first line indicates the sepal length second line is a sepal width third line is a petal length and a petal width all are in a centimeter so if you see the uh, for the setosa class of family only this sepal length mostly lies between this 4.2 to somewhere around 5.8 8 uh, uh, centimeter the length between these two range and as uh, for that sample width lies between this 2.4 uh, one is looking like a outlier in this uh, case with respect to just this feature remaining all lies into this range so this uh, way you can visualize the individual record with respect to all four dimension now let's try to visualize the another uh, set of family like uh, 50 to 100 record okay so that is a versicolor so you can see the almost the graph is uh, quite changed because for a versicolor you can visualize the sepal wind is uh, completely almost change the range is even a uh, petal length petal length is also changed but the petal weight is uh, quite similar with respect to the our earlier cases of setosa basically so uh, let's try the last one also so we'll go with uh, 100 to 150 okay so this is a versinica so in case of sepal length is uh, quite similar even sepal width uh, is a little bit similar even petal length uh, so there is a huge amount of similarity between Virsinica and a versicolor set of family flower. So it will be a difficult to actually uh, classify this. So our machine learning algorithm will take care of it. But uh, there is a good amount of difference between the Satosa family and a versicolor family and a Satosa family and a uh, Virsinica family. Because if you clearly observe this uh, very uh, second and third dimension this is a sepal width and a sepal petal length which is almost completely changed with respect between this setosa and a versicolor family so this way you can visualize this uh, individual records which is having in a more than three dimension with the help of parallel coordinate system at a one stroke uh, but we have uh, visualized individual in uh, with respect to uh, individual class now let's just try to visualize the all at a once actually and let's see how it will display okay so it has generated the three graphs and it has given a uh, almost three color so first is the brownish kind of uh, gold golden color which is setosa the second one is a uh, more peach color that is a versicolor and a yellow one is a virginica so if you see setosa and a uh, versicolor this this family petal length is uh, might be the quite deciding uh, factor uh, whether this particular uh, uh, feature value will lies into which kind of uh, family uh, even uh, the last uh, feature also quite discriminatory but the very first feature is a uh, first and second feature is uh, almost overlap in terms of uh, ranges so the first and second feature won't be a very deciding factor while the classification algorithm will apply on a machine learning system so this is the one technique for the visualization of uh, more than three dimension at a uh, one shot and this is a very useful technique while you are analyzing data before apply your machine learning algorithm on the top of it in a future lecture we are going to see even more this kind of a uh, technique that how you can visualize even more higher dimension stuff into a uh, very low dimensional uh, uh, data set so you can make a very good decision about your machine learning algorithm even for pre-processing what kind of technique you need to apply to remove some outliers or anything so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it